Ah, if you read in the title, we are comparing a bunch of tomahawk steaks today. And yes, elk tomahawk steaks exist. <coughs> and for that, we have all these amazing tomahawk steaks ready to be grilled to perfection. Are you ready to learn what the best steak is? Let's go. These have to be one of the most exquisite and exotic cooks I've ever made. And all thanks to our friends, the Honest Bison. The people at the Honest Bison is dedicated to bring exotic meats, grazed on pasture, and 100% natural to the market at the best prices. The quality of their product and the unique variety of the cuts make them unique in the entire world. And if you really want to try any of these tomahawks or any other cut of beef, bison, elk, venison or lamb at the best prices, check the link below. As you can see, all these steaks are considered tomahawks, but they are very different from each other. The beef tomahawk is what we are all used to. The marbling in the steak, the stunning rib bone, and the thickness make of this steak one of the most pleasant looking things anyone can cook at home. Now, looking at the bison tomahawk, we can start seeing some differences. The bison steak has less marbling into it and the steak is definitely smaller. But we all know that bison meat, even when it's leaner than beef, it has its own particular flavors. I describe bison flavor as beefier, with a little bit of that savage flavor into it without getting to be gamey at all. Also, these animals are 100% grass-fed and finished, and they are free to roam in the open pastures, grazing on wild grasses as nature intended it to be. And it's also known that bison meat has more CLA fat, that is a cancer-reducing enzyme and great for muscle building. Also remember that bison is raised with no antibiotics or hormones, making them way healthier than many of the other meats we can get in the supermarket. And finally, let me show you the one most of you guys are excited for, the elk tomahawk. Trust me, most of the people that I mentioned elk tomahawks have the same reaction. Can you make a tomahawk steak out of elk? And yes, elks are big and powerful animals, and their ribeye come from what the hunters call backstrap. In this case, elk tomahawks are cut in the same way beef or bison tomahawks will, all along the rib bone, leaving a beautiful ribeye attached to it. Now, the particular thing about these meats is that they are all free-range based, and as the bison, none of these animals has been administrated with any antibiotics or hormones, making the meat all that healthier and better for human consumption. If you want to learn more about the Honest Bison, I'm leaving a link in the description of the video and a coupon code so you might save some money if you decide to give it a try. And just for you to know, I will get a little kickback from it without affecting the price you pay. Today I'm going to be cooking and comparing all this meat, but if you want to learn more in detail about each of the steaks, or you want me to cook any other cup from bison, elk, venison, lamb, or beef, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And with all that said, it's time to start the cooking. I will season them all at the same time, one next to the other, so we can make this comparison as fair as possible. We're gonna keep the seasoning very simple, salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder to bring those flavors up. And allow the steaks to rest with the seasoning on top for about 30 minutes while we get the grill ready to go. Meanwhile, and this is very important, not only for this cook, but for any cook, I will set my thermometers into the meat. That will let me know as soon as the internal temperature gets to what we set it to be. Now, this is the trick. I will cook the beef steak until the internal temperature gets to 120 degrees. I think we all agree that the meat rare steak is the way to go, and that's what we're looking for. Now, because we believe that, I'm going to be cooking the bison and the elk a little bit less until they get to 110 degrees. The issue is that bison and elk are very lean when compared to beef, and they can easily overcook. So, keeping the internal temperature in a safe range is the thing to do. And now, all we have to do is to wait for the minute to let me know when each of the steaks is ready to pull. By the way, I'm going to be giving away a brand new meter thermometer to a lucky winner in this channel. And all you need to do to get in is to subscribe to this channel newsletters. The winner will be declared next week. And if you are not already a subscriber of the newsletters, 
all you need to do is to click on the newsletter link below and go for it. Well, it's been about 20 minutes and the bison and elk steaks are ready to pull. I will remove them from the heat and allow the beef tomahawk to cook a little bit longer. And as soon as the meter let me know, I will remove it from the heat too. Remove the grill diffuser and sear each steak in turn. The beef steak will be seared for two minutes per side, but the bison and elk steak will be seared for only one minute per side. All this exotic and beautiful meat needs to be treated with care if you really want to get the best possible results. And once all these beautiful steaks are seared to perfection, is when we get to see what tomahawk is really the king. And it's time for us to give it a try. Nobody knows what's going on in here. We have number A, number B, and number C. C. And let's see. If we like it, C. Oh, let's, <laughs> first, let's see if you like it. Then I would like to know what do you guys think this animal is. All right? Let me get the knife over there, Miss Ninja. Whoa. Woo! Let's go for number A. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. It's really good. It's juicy. It's beefy. It's real good. It's what do you think it is? I don't know. Horse. You don't know what it is? Horse? <laughs> it's not a horse. That's it's illegal. Not, it's not a horse, all right? Now, let's go for number B and let's see. B. Hmm. Oh, this one is way tender. I still don't know what it is. Beefier. Stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. Real amazing tender. But real good. Let's go with C and right. see what happens. Let's go with number C and let's see if they figure it out. Meanwhile, mm. Mm. I don't like this. All right, guys. Number C is very good. It tastes different. <gasps> Super strong. I think Miss Ninja didn't enjoy that. No. What about you, Nico? Do you like it? I liked it. It was really good. It was really good? Yeah. If I give you all that, you will eat it? Yeah. All right, guys, apparently number C has a really strong flavor and I really believe Damn. it is real good. It's juicy. It's a little bit less tender than number B and it has a stronger flavor without being gamey. It's not gamey at all, but it has a real strong flavor. All right, I'm going to tell you guys what's up. All right, number A here is just regular beef. Nothing else. Go. Beef. <laughs> number B here is the old good and amazing American bison. <gasps> and that's my favorite oh, that's bison. Really what do you think? Yeah, that's I, do you like the bison? I like B. the bison. And number C, of course, will be the American, well, it's not American, it's, it's North American elk. Oh, oh, that's why it's so strong. It's very strong. I mean, it is delicious. Don't get me wrong. I think all of these are delicious. But let's see who the winner is. What the winner? B. Number B is the winner yes, for you. Yes, number B. B. Number B is the winner for Nico. And number B is the winner for me, baby. Ba -da -da, it is amazing. Ba -ba. Believe me, none of these things are going to go to waste. Oh, Don't no. worry about it. We have a big boy here, another big boy <laughs> here. We're going to take care of this situation right now. Now I have to ask you a question. Did I make you hungry? Did we? If we made you hungry, you have to hit us with the like down there. Lots and lots of Subscribe likes. to the channel. Share with your friends and family. Yes. And don't forget to let me know down there what you think about all this crazy stuff. How do you like the comparison? What I did wrong? What I did right? Tell me whatever down there. That's all for today. But remember that I love ya. Love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. He love you too. He just shy.